Hi, welcome to In Conversation. I'm Kip Hubbard, and this week we're on location at Barbara Olson's home, and we're here to meet two incredible women that will be teaching the upcoming intensive, The Hope for Political Transformation Through Service and Art, which is happening on July 16th through 20th. So sit back and enjoy. Barbara Olson and I'm a fiber artist. I started with making quilts and then one day I saw an art quilt and said that's what I want to do. So I began learning um, what is an art quilt, how do you make it, how is it different from a regular traditional quilt. Um, I've been now doing it for 20 years and so now I paint fabric, I dye my fabric, I layer it, I stitch it, I paint it, I write it, I, um, I just do as many things to the, to the piece as what I feel is wanting to be expressed. So I start with a concept. Um, what am I trying to say? What is it that's in me that wants to be spoken about? And so then I start, well, what are the colors? Well, what are the textures? And then I might, I might paint some fabric, or take out, I have a stash of fabric, I, I might take out 50 pieces of fabric and just say this one, this one, and that one. Put them together, um, see how they play, um, but put more paint or more stitch, and then I have to step back. Is this working? No, let's do this, let's do that. Um, now is it working? So sometimes we're talking to each other, the piece is telling me where it wants to go. I'm thinking of more ideas, and together we work it out. So then um, I get I get the basic form uh, again. Reevaluating what does it look like? Is it say, what am I trying to say? Let's remember what was that? Oh yeah, is it working? Is it saying? Is it talking to me? Um, so I might need to adjust it or cut something out or add something. Sometimes I start over because that's just what needs to happen. So I'm always driven by what's inside. Sometimes I write about it. That helps clarify, um, like crystallize the ideas a little more. Like what, what am I real? what's the bottom? Where am I really going with this piece? So then I, um, half the fun is that I'm creating some new method. It's like, mm -hmm. Okay, I know what I want to do. How am I going to do it? Well, let's see. I've never learned this, but we're going to figure it out together. So I just do fun things, um, and the piece just keeps working, and then suddenly it's like, I think we're done. Don't want to add any more, don't want to detract, but now it's finished. So that's the work I do. In the work that I do, I've also learned that it's a very spiritual path for me. Um, one of the principles is that I, when I get into my head just a little too much, I'm like, oh my gosh, this sounds like, a, like how am I going to do this? All I know is I need to take the first step, and then the next step, and then the next step. So that to me is a part of my spirituality, is just knowing that you start without questioning, without worrying, without wondering. Uh oh, now what, now what? But you just, you just do it. And so the other piece that became very clear to me was to not be attached to the outcome. Because if you're, if, if you're here and now your mind is going there, you're too far focused. You're now missing being in the present, which is where the creativity needs to come from. So I consider this just a, a spiritual journey. That brings me joy and understanding and um, a connection. Um, so it's it's all together, the art and the spirituality and yeah. Another part of my art is is to be exploring a certain theme. Now um, we all have ups and downs. Life is what it is. But what I have been able to do in the last few years is to take one theme and explore that with each piece. And in that process, I have healed um, some very difficult times. 
And it's, it's, it's exciting to look at the piece, knowing where I started, maybe in a rage, and then as it's transformed into um, something beautiful that expresses what I've been through, and it also translates and communicates to people looking at the piece. It's, it's been a really lovely experience and very healing. My name is Pat Walk. Um, I am a nurse, um, a psychologist, a politician, and um, a conservationist, and obviously am a spiritual healer. I think all those things come together to be a, a healer. Um, I first felt called when I was eight years old. I didn't know to what, um, but I adopted the um, pattern of opening myself up to life. And life is a prayer, so whatever came in had meaning to it. And, and that's been true of my whole career. I've reached points where I knew this job was done, and there would be a period of a month or three months where nothing has happened, all of a sudden all these doors would flip open and then you'd say, this is the one. And so I've spent my life being a Peace Corps volunteer, being a nurse, um, being a politician, being um, a government employee, um, being on the parole board, a whole range of things, because those doors opened up to me and it was all about justice and compassion. Um, and so, when you're called to justice and compassion, those doors will open up for you. Um, in the political world, most people will say, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with politics. It's nasty, it's awful. And yet, public servants are the ones that are gonna ensure us that ha we have a just and compassionate world. And so we have to demand more of them. We have to talk to people and say, it's your turn to step up. We have to nurture them and mentor them. And we have to make sure we have a voice, or as Meister Eckhart says, we have to interfere. I love that. I want to interfere when things are not going the way they should go. And it's not partisan. It is a whole range of people who feel that the world has more to give to its lowliest of citizens and that they need to step up and to make their voice heard. And so for the last several years at least, I've spent my life doing my public service finding people who are willing to step up, to speak up, and to make their voices heard, because that's how we'll get to where we want to go. Can we just repeat the last one? In the last several years, I've spent my... So in the last several years, I've spent my life nurturing people, mentoring people, asking people to step up, making it less, um, less awesome, and in the worst awesome part, every day should be awesome, but uh, I think some people are fearful of stepping into that place, and yet we can help them be the voice, be the servant, to make sure that we have a just and compassionate world, and to interfere when it's not working that way.